So I bought this old um, Razor E300 electric scooter, second hand. Um, didn't work. Um, tried charging it, it didn't charge. Um, anyway, I'm pretty sure it was just the batteries. So I took it apart, and as you can see, you've got a couple of um, big old lead acid batteries here. Now, um, so I was going to gut this out and remove the batteries, remove the controller, and as well I was going to swap the throttle because this throttle here is just basically an on-off switch. Um, so, and the only, and it's a 24 volt motor, so I was going to use 36 volts. See how that goes. It might burn out the motor, but we'll see. So here's our. Razor E300. Now, first of all, I was going to remove the batteries, and which I've already disconnected from the controller, and then these connectors go into a fuse on the side here. I'll probably reuse the fuse. <coughs> uh, the next thing is to disconnect the uh, motor. Is the cable running from the motor to the controller. We remove this. If I can get it to go. Yeah, there we go. Remove the controller from the motor. Um, okay, so we got a cable coming from the throttle. So we got this looks like this. Hmm. Throttle cable here, and this uh, brake cable, and the other cable here, and so there's only one more cable to remove. switch so now I've removed the controller and the batteries I'm just going to test it with the new gear that I bought so here's the new gear that I bought first of all I bought a uh, 36 volt 500 watt controller now it's got all these cables which look a bit worrying coming out of the controller but basically the two pairs of thick cables, one's for the battery, one's for the motor. Uh, for the battery here, I put an XT60 connector cable on because the batteries I'm buying come with an XT60 connector. And then all the other cables, which are all thinner wires, on this side, I've labelled them all. And we've got lock, which is basically the on-off switch, uh, brake, Brake light, I probably won't use that. The throttle, which is one of the main ones. Indicator light. And charge port. But for the purposes of testing, I'll probably only be using battery, motor, um, the lock one, which is this one, and the throttle. Okay. I've also bought a variable speed throttle is a throttle that comes on the raise the scooter standard is just basically an on off switch whereas this is a variable speed one comes with a key lock as well as a display to show your voltage and it comes with a matching left left hand grip I also bought uh, two 5S 3 amp hour batteries with an XT60 connector. So fully charged uh, anywhere between 37 and 42 volts. And this is only 24 volt, so hopefully yeah, we won't blow it up. Also bought a uh, made up series XT60 series connector so I can connect these two batteries in series. 
Well, you can, can make one of these up yourself if you're good at soldering. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is connect the throttle to the controller. Now I've replaced, it come, the throttle comes with five wires. Three of the wires are the red, black and green. The red and the black is the power, positive, negative, and the green wire is the signal wire or controller wire. So if I plug that one in, the one that says throttle, I've changed the plug here so they're matching. The other two wires are the blue and yellow on the throttle matching up with the red and blue on the controller which is the electric lock or on off switch basically. And I've changed the plug there so they also match. So The next connector I need to connect is the motor. The motor goes into this thick yellow and blue wire and there's the connector. Fortunately the connectors were the same. I think I did have a problem initially when I did this that the motor spanned the wrong way. But all I did was swap these two wires around. So just connect the motor to the controller. So I've got the motor and the controller and the throttle connected now. The next thing I need to do is connect the batteries. So pretty much they can only go in one way. So be very careful when you're dealing with batteries. Okay. And then, as you can see, I did change the connector on the controller, which was very similar to one of these type of plugs. I changed it to an XT60, so I could just plug this directly into here. So the plug now plug the control batteries into the controller. And now it should all work for testing purposes. So let's see, we put the key in, and we turn it on, and showing 40.6 volts. And then let's see if we can get it to work. I'm just going to tip it over a little bit and turn the throttle. And as you can see, it works. So in the next video, I'll be uh, showing you how to um, replace the throttle grip on the handlebars um, and put it all back together. And so then we can go and try it.